Hi Zoe, here's a little video to show you how to make your uh, chained bracelets, but this time with beads in them. So I've already made you this one. This one's coming your way, and I thought I would show you how to make one for your brother. So what you need is some yarn and crochet hook and then scissors and beads. So here are the letters we're gonna use and we're gonna start with our slip knot. We're gonna put it on the hook and we're gonna tighten it. So we hold one end and we pull the long end. There we go. Now we're gonna make 10 chains. So we're gonna go um, yarn over, pull it through. One, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it two, three, yarn over, four, yarn over, five, yarn over, six, yarn over, seven, yarn over, eight, nine, and then we have 10. And now we're gonna make this a little bit longer. We're gonna pull it a little bit out and we're gonna take the hook out because now the bead is gonna go on this little loop here. So we're gonna pinch it a little bit and we're gonna take the first letter, the L, and we're gonna put it over the bead. You need to make sure that you have beads that are nice and wide and open and have big holes, you know? Now we're gonna put our crochet hook back into that loop and pull the long tail a little bit tighter. And now we're gonna pretend like there's no bead, nothing happened, and make another chain. One chain. There you go, hold the bead. Whoop, one chain. Now we're gonna do exactly the same thing again, pull it out a little bit. We have a long chain. We're gonna squish it and find the E. And push it through, pull, and put our hook back through the loop. And tighten it a little bit. Pretend like the bead's not there. Yarn over, pull through. We've made another chain. Oh, we've made another chain. Two more letters to go. Here we go. Get a little bit longer. Hold it nice and tight so you don't lose it. Squeeze it. Put the letter on. We ran out of O's, so we're using a Q that kind of looks like an O, but I don't think it's gonna matter. So here we have our loop. What do we do with the loop? We put the hook through it. We're gonna pull our long tail a little bit tighter. We're gonna pretend the bead's not there. And we're gonna yarn over and pull it through and we have another chain. We're at our final bead. Pull it a little bit longer, hold it so we don't lose anything. Here is the final letter gonna go through, pull it, put your crochet hook back in, tighten it a little bit, and now we're gonna do another 10 like we did on the in the beginning. So one, yarn over two, yarn over three, yarn over four, Yarn over five, yarn over six, yarn over seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now we take our scissors, we cut the yarn, and we yarn over and pull it through, and this is going to make a knot nice and tight 
And there is our bracelet. This one's for Leon. And then the purple one is for Zoe. I hope you're going to be able to make this. I love you so much. Goodbye.